once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel this video is continuation to my previous video which is learning about python if you didn't go through my previous video just go through it and come back to this video in this video i will explain about what is list in python let's take a closer look at a list by getting to the demo so i have already created a file with extension of py over here let's define a variable like name equal to just define the names in the string like uh, python comma c sharp and then java and then react and then view so i just define the list over here now i want to print this names for that what i can do is like i'm just make use of print inbuilt function with the names that's it now i try to run this code what will let's see what is happening over here if you print this name means what we see on terminal is like it look like exactly what we define in our list so we have the square brackets and in, in between the square brackets we have all the values now we can access the individual element also from the list using the index just like how we will access the individual characters in a string using the index so here we type the square bracket over here and then specify an index for example if you specify the index 0 means it will print the python over here zero okay so it will print the python now if i want to print the third index third now i want to print the third element which is index 2 so what i have to do is like i'm just giving the third third one or uh, i want to pass the index 2 let's see it is printing the third element java and also like you can also pass a negative index over here as negative index refers to the last item in the list for example if you are defining Minus one means it will return the last element in the list. It will return the view. Similarly, like if you are passing the negative of uh, two means it will return the before element from the last. Now, if I execute means it will be returning the React. So this is just exactly like accessing the individual character in a string. We can also pass a colon to select the range of items. Here, in, uh, instead of the individual numbers, we can send the range also like using the colon for example if i want to print with the two colon three means it will start with the index of two and it will be going with the index of three let's see what is happening over here see it's printing java only because it will execute the last one last index i'm just giving two to four it is printing over the items like starting with index zero one two and the two is java and three is react and it won't execute the it won't print the fourth one and we can also have the default values over here suppose if you are not passing the def end value means it will print all the values to the end of the list let's see see here it will be starting with the index 2 0 1 2 and it will print everything over here similarly to the initial uh, value also by default it will take as 0 let's see over here if i am not passing the default value i am not passing the start index value so it will take the default value as 0 and it will print from the start see here python c sharp java react it will be printing over here and also like just like string it won't uh, if you are using a square bracket with the colon means it won't modify the original string it will simply return the new list only let's see an example i'm just make use of 1 is to 4 and uh, just printing the the names again print of names what will do is like it will be printing it will be written in the new list over here in the print names of 1 is to 4 means it will start with index 1 and it will be ending with the 4 1 2 3 and it won't print the last one and this one is like it will it will print the original list so it it is not affecting our existing list and all so whenever we use this square bracket with this colon means to select the range of items we get a new list only and now i want to modify a particular item or a particular any element in the list means we can access it using the index for example instead of c sharp i want to change it to j sharp like this names of first index equal to j sharp that's it now what i'll do is like i just remove this one let's see what is happening just printing it over here and it is printing see here the my uh, original list is getting affected over here so this is the basic operation of list and we can make use of list in the python 
If you have any doubts on implementing this, just add in the comment section. I'll be very happy to help you guys. Thank you all.